Well, hello. It's time to check out my European and red wiggler bins. I haven't fed them for about two weeks. There was bedding in there that they can consume. So let's see how it's looking in um, the red wiggler worm bin. They're chilling on the top, but that's all right. Because all I have to do is push them back in there. And if they do get out, they're just going to die. And I'm just going to sweep them up and throw them in the trash can. So don't worry about if they get out. You're going to have a couple that try to get out. But this is not a big deal for me. Because, like I said, if they get out, they're not going to go far. It's going to dry out and die. So... A lot of baby worms too. Lawn and gardens and worms said to use some of your castings to just pick up your worms. I think that's a really good concept. Uh, you just smash them on there, and your castings will allow you to pick up the stragglers. So let me go ahead and. Look all the way inside here and see what's going on. Yeah, I don't know why they try to get out, but maybe it's because the weather changed. There's so many factors that cause your worms to want to try to get out. And check out London's video also. He's talking about how worms escape and what he does to help them out if they get out. So he's got some really good content. And these castings are, it's really cool in here. Temperature wise, it's cold. But, but my worms are active. I'm not going to worry about these guys um, having to worry about like dying or anything. So what I'm going to do is probably just, I'm just going to push all these castings over to the side, all this bedding. And let these guys just consume this side and put new bedding on. The other side. So let me take care of that real quick. But first let me give a quick shout out to a channel. I would like to give a shout out to Alaskan Sourdough Worms Garden etc. She's close to 100 subscribers and what she's going to do once she reaches 100 subscribers she's going to give a giveaway. So all I ask if you're interested Check out her channel, subscribe, help her reach 100 subscribers, and tell her AJ's Green Topic sent you. Well, I decided that I'm not going to push anything over. I'm going to probably wait until the end of December, come back, because that will give these guys more time to devour all this bedding. So I just want to... Harvest the castings, start over, put fresh bedding on. So I'm going to wait a few more weeks, come back and check it out. Because, like I said, there's still bedding in here. Some food that these guys can consume. So I'm not going to do anything to this. I don't know what this is. A piece of plastic. What the heck is that doing in there? But that's coming out of there. So I'm just going to cover these guys up and look at my Europeans now. All right, let's look at the Euros. They're not doing anything. They're standing in this bin, so I, the Europeans are definitely happy. The thing I noticed, too, about Euros and um, Red Wigglers, the bins smell completely different, but they both have a fresh, earthy smell. So, different type of worms, different fragrances, but this bin smells really nice. So, I'm happy with how things are going in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys. Since my Europeans aren't going to get what I... Oh, correction, the red wiggers aren't going to get fed. 
because they have enough bedding. But let me go grab some food scraps real quick and feed these a euros. All right, let's go ahead and feed these big guys. Everything's frozen, thawed out, and this is what they're gonna eat. I'm gonna not bother these bad boys for a couple weeks. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. All I want you to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the box below. You guys have a great day. Bye.